Hey, what's up, Internet? This is a review for the Bob J. Rugged case for the Aces ZenPad S8. That's an 8-inch tablet here. And I recently went to Florida and back from California, as well as traveled around and used this thing as a um, screen for my drone. But primarily watching movies on the plane, um, using it as a flashlight, like just really basic stuff. I'm not a huge power user, but it's more for entertainment, and I really like the screen. So I wanted to protect this because I have a tendency of dropping phones and tablets. So I wanted a, a significant protection. And to me, something like this is not enough protection. Um, the re I know this is really dirty, but the reason being is if this does fall flat like this, your screen will probably shatter. Um, if you go back like this, maybe um, it has a little bit of shock absorbing on the back, but my main concern is the screen. Screens tend to crack or chip and so that's what I was worried about. So I tend to get like really high quality and uh, overkill cases like the, um, you know, this right here. And then also like they have the Gorilla cases and the bunch of different other ones. And uh, these ones last a long time for me and it's a good thing I have these because otherwise this phone would have been way shattered by now. So back to the tablet. This one, although this one doesn't have a screen protector on it, this is the bare screen here, uh, but it has a lip here of about, you know, maybe a quarter inch or so, and it's very thick along the edges as well, if you can see that, very thick on the edges, it's got a lot, and it's got these little divots in here to even absorb the shocks, as well as that, I think part of that is also they have like a ventilation system on this as well to help with the heat. So here it is, you have the Bob J Gear logo on the back, it kind of indents in. You have a spot for your camera. <clears throat> Another really cool feature is they really carve this out for the headphone jack. So sometimes when you put on a case on your phone, some headphones don't fit anymore because of the, the extra added uh, length that the case adds to your device. And uh, that wasn't so with this, so that was really good. And then the USB, again, you won't have to like buy a different USB adapter because it's, it's really carved out there on the um, bottom of the case. Same with the camera. This does not interfere with the camera. And then you have the headphone jack and uh, again, ventilation. Now, if I drop this straight down, I feel way more comfortable with that lip here than I would with back at this iPad. I would not feel comfortable dropping this. So I really like that. I think the protection level on this thing is great, and I really like that you don't need, like this one has a piece of plastic on top of it as part of the case. And I think that's necessary because this doesn't have a big lip. Um, but for this, with this bigger lip, you know, I think it's still possible to crack the screen for sure, but I think it's a, it's a nice precaution. Uh, a couple other things they claim is that the sides of this case are, are aerodynamically or like designed so it pushes the sound directly at the user. And uh, for this particular model, I don't think it does because you got the two speakers here and I mean, it's not, it's maybe pushes, keeps it going straight up versus out, but I don't see how that could be a huge improvement at all from, from stock. One other thing I actually really did like is I like that the, how these buttons work. They're very solid. Some cases, like when you hit the button, it's kind of mushy or you have to like press kind of hard. You got to move your finger around until you find it. And these are very precise. So I really did like the precision on the menu here. It's a little weird, but it's actually easy to find too if you're in the dark. You can kind of move, well, you can find it easy. So it looks kind of weird if you're not into that, but at the same time, it, it functions really well and it does help if you're in the dark from my, um, from my experience. Now here's where it gets their bad news, for me especially, which is that it was the same reason why I couldn't use my, um, the reason why I didn't like using my smartphone for my, um, my uh, device for my drone flying, is it doesn't fit in here, it's just loose, because these lips don't come up high enough. And uh, I'm sure I can maybe buy a different version of this, and that'll actually work, that's probably actually what I need to do. But again, with my tablet now, you'll see that when I put it in here, it no longer has like a, it's not, it's, it's okay, it's better than my phone, but it still can slip out, where uh, if you take it out of the case, which is nice, this is nice that, look how easy, I, I, I just pulled it out of my case that fast. It's really easy to go in and out of the case, so I can just pull it off the case, 
when I'm about to fly my drone. So it's not a deal breaker, but just know that you will have to pull it out of this case if you want it uh, to fit with like a DJI drone or anywhere else where you have like a tablet holder and the, uh, the sides of the tablet holder don't go up high enough. Um, back to the case now that we have it off. Uh, it has these little rivets, these little uh, points, like massage points. Um, I'm sure that helps with the um, shock absorption. But uh, this is really good. Like, this is solid design. I don't see this, you know, distorting much over time. Um, I think it'll last a long time. It's a cool model. I mean, for $23 when you have a $200 tablet, I think it's a good, it's a good, uh, investment for you because it really can save you but I think you should know that um, it's definitely gonna make it bulkier for sure that's I think go downside for some people especially when it's so when it's so thin and sleek you know it's like you want to show it off and then you put this case on it and now it looks like a kid's Kindle and uh, you know some people don't want to do that so I understand that but if you're the type of person like me who you know you're just rough with your things or you just you don't want to have to care about dropping something or care about, you know, protecting it when you throw it in your backpack, for example. Um, I think this is the way to go. But again, you have no screen protector, so if like, if it's in your backpack and something goes straight into it with a sharp point, you know, you're still going to crack your glass with, uh, with, this, with this setup. But I like it because with the lip, you can actually, um, let's go ahead and put it in, with the lip, you have a little more protection uh, on the device. And uh, I don't think there's any rhyme or reason how you do this. I think you just start in one corner and then uh, just go for it. And then it'll just kind of go around the tablet like that. And there you go. So there you go. I give it a thumbs up in general, but do be mindful that it is going to add a little bit of height to your tablet and um, it won't fit in certain uh, device holders if, you, if they only... Uh, want something very thin. Other than that, with a protection level, I'd give it like an 8 out of 10. It's very good on that front. Uh, price, I'd say it's a little high, considering like some of these rubber things can be had for 10 or 20, 10, or 5 or 10 dollars. I mean, I can see that this is definitely a lot, but at the same time, these are probably really cheap to manufacture once you get the mold done. Um, so I think it's because this tablet is fairly new, but I think it'll go down in price as you go. The last thing is you can get it in all sorts of really cool colors like yellow, green, blue. So if you do like to customize that kind of stuff, definitely check it out on the link below. You'll have a link to go buy this on Amazon. If you like this review, please like and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys next time.